It's the NFL on EA Sports, and we've got some history in this battle of AFL alumni. It's the Cincinnati Bengals and the Kansas City Chiefs, and it's all up next. It is still summer in the Midwest, and a pleasant summer day at that as we are set for football at GHA Field at Arrowhead Stadium in Kansas City, Missouri. With Charles Davis, as always, I'm Brandon Gordon. And Charles, you talk about storylines in this one. I think it begins and ends with our two quarterbacks, certainly two of the best in the business. And nowadays, I don't think you can get by for long periods of time without a top-flight quarterback. The way the game is played, with all the responsibility he has and how the game flows through him, if he's not on the top of his game, your team's not going to benefit at all. Evan McPherson has this one teed up, and we are underway from Arrowhead. And the tackle going to be made right there at the 25-yard line. Well, the Chiefs offense going to make their way out and at the helm. A now three-time Super Bowl MVP in his eighth season in the NFL, it's Patrick Mahomes. I think it's safe to say that at this point in his career, there's really nothing Mahomes hasn't accomplished by this time. Three Super Bowl rings, three Super Bowl MVPs, two league MVPs, a couple of all-pro nods, and a passing title. When you lay it all out, it doesn't even sound real, especially when you consider the fact he's not even 30 years old. Now he has a sight set on being the first quarterback to 3 P. If there's anyone who can do it, it's certainly him. And he's upended at the 33, following a good pickup of eight. A nice run here early on. It doesn't take a great play caller to realize you want to establish a guy of his caliber with runs like this early because they will pay dividends as the game progresses. Here's a second and two now from the 33. They go play action. Now Mahomes. He finds his man, Sky Moore. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. To throw, it's Mahomes. Well, this one complete. It's Rasheed Rice. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. That goes for a Chiefs first down, 14 yards. But one of the ways the quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. So they'll come up in Bengals territory now with a first and 10 at the 47. Working from the gun, Mahomes. That'll be caught by Rice. And he's corralled, but not before getting it inside the 35. And the officials here are going to pause the game for a second. Looks like there's an injured chief on the field. We'll step aside and get an update when we return to Arrowhead. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. In motion, the tight end, Kelsey. Now it's Mahomes again. Got a man, it's Brown. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. Good work after the catch, gets him 15 and a first down. Well, they clearly wanted to come out, Charles, and be aggressive throwing the football, and they've been pretty efficient along with that aggressiveness. He's now 4-4 four four on this opening drive. Yeah, and that's led to a fresh set of downs. I like what he's doing back there. You can tell he's at ease, feels good about what he's doing. I think if I'm the play caller, I'm reading that, I'm continuing to let him throw the football. 
And forget about finding a lane. He barely had time to look up before he was planted in the backfield. Across the line and to the ball quickly there, Trey Hendrickson. That's a play to take note of there for the defense. I think in the future, if you're going to try and block him, maybe you get a guard to help double team him and try and steer him out of the play. They should have done it on that snap. He's got the connection to Moore. A good pickup there, 13 yards as they get closer for third down. And this will be play number eight of the opening drive. It's third and short. And they'll send the tight end in motion. Snap coming at one, and it's Mahomes. Touchdown! Mahomes hitting his favorite target, Travis Kelsey, on a touchdown pass. And the Chiefs will jump on top with the game's first score here this afternoon. Quite the drive there to get things started. They took up the bulk of the first quarter, and they end up in the end zone. And I love your last point. Ended up in the end zone. Because a lot of teams like those long drives, especially to keep their offense off the field, right? Keep the ball away from them. But they finished it with a touchdown. That's the exclamation point. Now flip it over defensively. They've got to slow that down somehow, right? Maybe they need to be a little more aggressive. Maybe a few more pressures towards the quarterback. Extra point by Butker is on target. And it's now a 7-0 game. So that drive in total eight plays. And it culminates in a Travis Kelsey touchdown. After the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. And the Bengals make their way out on offense for the first time, led by their fifth-year quarterback out of LSU, Joe Burrow. Burrow is coming off a year where he suffered his second season-ending injury over a four-year span. And while that's certainly concerning, there's certainly no denying he's truly one of the best quarterbacks in the NFL whenever he's on the field. However, for them to reach their full potential, he has to be out there. Because as long as he is, this team is a legitimate contender to win it all. Burrow going to lead up the Bengals here first and 10 at their own 27. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. Man open, that's Jamar Chase complete. And they work this well upfield across the 45. Just like that, a pickup of 20 on their first play from scrimmage. Certainly no settling into the drive there. They came right out on the first play and attacked the middle of the field for a big gainer and a first down. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. Start of the second quarter, and it's the Bengals in control of the football as they've got it with a first and ten. Here's Burrow. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Brown. And a gain of four gets him right to the midfield stripe. And now following the completion, we're going to get a stoppage here for an injury. We'll step aside and get an update when we return to KC. Ball right on the 50-yard line. Here's second and six. Here's the first carry of the game for Zach Moss. And it's still about three yards shy of a first as the four-yard pickup brings it to third down. On any running play that's called, they're always hoping that it's going to break big and go the distance. But when you get a nice gain like that, 
You're able to do so many things anyway. You can come back and run essentially the same play again, continue to move the ball on the ground, or you can decide to throw the ball now because usually you have the defense back on its heels. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he'll be brought down with a first down as the tackle's made at the Chiefs 21. Well, they were in search of a short gain on third down, and they wind up nabbing over 20 yards. I don't care how many times we see it, I still get a kick out of watching quarterbacks and receivers do the pass tree in pregame warm-up. But I always remember that when we go to practices, we see that after practices as well. They really tune it up, don't they? They tune it up. They know why they do it for these situations. First down. And they build that trust, and that's why they're able to find him in this type of a situation. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. Such a tough position to defend near the line, even when you add a second defender. But the big man shrugged off the extra body and made the play call a success. Now a second and two. Now it's Burrow, and he's got it. Got his man on the end route, complete. And the Bengals are going to be set up with a first and goal here as the tackle made at the nine. First and goal and a chance to get that initial touchdown right back. And they'll send the tight end in motion here. Here's Burrow setting up to throw it. And he's got it. And he'll take this into the end zone for a Bengal TD. Jamar Chase on the touchdown throw from Joe Burrow. And the Bengals are an extra point away now from tying this ball game. A nice connection there, finding his target, and that'll put six up on the board. Just like they drew it up in their playbook and reiterated it on the sidelines, right? Perfect route, a good throw in the defense. They had no answer for that right there. Evan McPherson now for the PAT. It's up and good, and we're tied at seven here in quarter number two. So that drives seven plays in length. And it was Jamar Chase who finished it off with a touchdown reception. Each team's had it. Each team has scored. 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away. And he'll go down as this drive will start at the 25-yard line. Patrick Mahomes and the Chiefs ready to go again. He hit on all six of his passes on that opening drive, including the final throw for a touchdown as his guys start here first and 10. Mahomes now to throw. Caught, Kelsey, left side. And he's got a first down as he's going to be taken down. But a very nice pick up there just in front of the two-minute warning. 19 yards there on the catch and run. One play has him up past the 40 already and another first and 10. Throwing now is Mahomes. Another pass into the reliable hands of Kelsey. That's good. The completion there for seven yards, and it's second down. Brandon, perfect defense in this situation would have meant that there was an incompletion. They would have picked it off. Okay, so they gave up the completion. But I really enjoyed watching how the defense stayed in sync, stayed in great communication. And as he dragged across each zone, you see him pointing, communicating. There he is, and they passed him off to each defender. Ended up making a nice play, even though it was complete. We know it's not an easy job to go out and catch passes when people are trying to tackle you and knock the ball away. But the bottom line is, that's a pass he's got to have and a pass he should have caught. So the incomplete pass on the last play, and that leads us to a third and three.
And again, it's Mahomes. Flush to his right, and he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. Now the Bengals going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. On fourth down, Matt Ariza sent on to punt. Charlie Jones, deep for Cincinnati. It'll be a net of 40 yards there following a 43-yard punt. Three-yard return, and the Bengals will have a first and 10 from deep in their own territory. Cincinnati coming back onto the field here for their second drive. It was still more than a minute to go in the half. Time to try to mount a drive. And I would think that they would have to. This is today's NFL. you got to push it whenever you get an opportunity. You can never have enough points with the high-powered offenses that you face. And analytics will tell you, try and score when given the opportunity. And the tight end goes in motion left. Burrow looking to pass. Now a short one to Gesicki. They'll wind up getting seven on the play, and it'll be second down. And his play caller does a nice job of giving him an easy throw to start this drive, and he takes advantage of it. The completion sets up a manageable second down. Now second and three. And Chase will go in motion left. They snapped that at one. Now it's Burrow. And his throw is incomplete. Great coverage there all around. Really didn't have many options to throw the football. Very little chance that that one was going to be completed. Every receiver was locked up. So the incomplete pass on the last play, and that leads us to a third and three. And they'll bring the big tight end across the formation left. Burrow will throw. And he will not be able to hang on to the contact. It's incomplete. The coverage strong, and now it's fourth down. Partner, we've got ourselves a ball game, and those guys on defense, they came to play. Slipped up on their first series, but they're definitely settling in now and letting it be known that points won't come so easy again. So they're forced to punt on fourth as this one's away. And take it right at the 35. It'll be a 41-yard punt. Give them five on the return. And control of the football, switching hands with very little time remaining until the half. The Chiefs in good position to start out as they come up first and 10 at the 41-yard line. In motion, the tight end, Kelsey. Shotgun snap to Mahomes. Man open left side is Brown. The Chiefs now going to use the first of their timeouts as they stop it with 16 seconds to go in half number one. Ball placed at the 45 for second and five. In motion right, one of the tight ends. Here's Mahomes to throw. It's Kelsey on the ground. And he makes it all the way down to the 13-yard line. Now a timeout taken. Perhaps a chance for one more quick play and then another timeout if they hurry. We'll see. From the 13 now, they work on first and 10. They go play fake. Mahomes. And he takes this into the end zone for a Chiefs touchdown. Patrick Mahomes 
in the final seconds of the first half. And the Chiefs have taken the lead here in the final stages of this first half. If you're going to play quarterback in the NFL, you've got to have great vision, and you've got to remain calm when things break down in the pocket. Both of those traits were on display there. He surveys the situation, sees the middle of the field open, so he's just going to step up and take it himself. Very well done there. Extra point by Butker is on target, and that makes the score 14 to 7. Scoring summary, three-play drive. And it was all capped by Patrick Mahomes using his legs to get in the end zone. Four seconds, all that remain here in this first half as the kick gets away. And not wanting to risk anything here late in the half, he'll just take a knee and they'll bring the football out to the 25. The Cincy offense about ready to go here on their next drive. And with only four seconds on the clock, time likely for just one snap of the football. He's going to loft this one deep left sideline. That's caught inside the 20. And he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he gets all the way down inside the 20-yard line. So we've come upon halftime here in Arrowhead with the Chiefs on top. As we'll head down to Orlando, that's where we find our man Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. We were treated to an excellent first half from the gunslinger, Patrick Mahomes. He had a touchdown both in the air and on the ground to help push his guys into the lead at the break. All right, Coach, thanks. Yeah, both teams likely to make some changes in what's been a closely fought battle to this point. touchdown ball game 14-7 our scores we get back at it on EA Sports and able to take it past the 25 and up to the 28 yard line well, the Bengal offense ready to go to begin this third quarter and they're on the short end of the scoreboard here Charles what adjustments if any do you think they need to make for the second half we're paraphrasing the gold medal hockey winning coach Herb Brooks I just say you continue to play your game. Throw the ball. They had success doing it in the first half. So make sure you keep getting the ball to your playmakers, a little bit more to the perimeter perhaps. But above all, play your game. Now Burrow. And that would off the mark behind him, incomplete. I think he's got to be careful not to force anything into coverage right there. There weren't really any throwing lanes. But the best part for him, He's got second and third down to fall back on. Here's second and ten. They'll send the tight end in motion left. They're passing here. Joe Burrow. Now a short one to Gesicki. A pickup of about three yards as he's taken down at the 31. Well, that's always a good place to throw it just because he's one of the biggest targets not only on this team but in the National Football League. And you and I both know the quarterbacks love these large body tight ends, and why not? Nowadays, they're really wide receivers who are just taller and have a little bit more weight. These guys catch the football, make big plays downfield. In the old days, we wanted them to block. Now coaches want them to catch the football first. Just his second catch of the game so far. This one moves the chains. This is a nice job of just taking what the defense is going to give you on third down. You're not looking for a big play downfield. You just want to find something that can get you past the marker. They found it and were able to keep the drive moving. Now it's Burrow. That's caught by the tight end, Drew Sample. And they'll get to him after a gain of seven to the 47. 
Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made a nice, easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. Ball on the 47-yard line. Here's second down and three. From the shotgun, it's Burrow. The left side completion to Jones. Just his second catch of the game so far. This one moves the chains. From the shotgun, Joe Burrow. That's taken in by Higgins. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And that'll leave him with a second and just a few inches left. They sure put the coverage guys in a stress on that one. They thought they were going deep. Ends up curling inside for a nice chunk of yardage. They still need about the length of the football here, maybe a little less as they come up on second and inches. And Burrow going to throw again. Now a short one to Gesicki. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. Nice hands displayed there by the former Penn State standout. And he's certainly hoping to get back on track now that he's playing in a Bengals offense that better suits his skill set. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. Throw right side, going to be complete to Moss. And all the way in for a Cincinnati score. Zach Moss. 34 yards and the Bengals have a chance to tie the ball game here in the final minute of the third getting your back involved what's the importance there in the passing game well oftentimes you can create mismatches because who's going to cover him and you get him into space which is where he likes to operate with the ball in his hands it oftentimes makes people miss gets that run after the catch and off he goes and into the end zone McPherson on for the point after. And we've got a good one brewing. We're all knotted up at 14. So that drive goes eight plays. And it's finished off with a Cincinnati touchdown. So we're right back where we started. All even as the kick's away. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. So here's the Chiefs offense ready for their first reps in half number two. After that last touchdown we just saw, Charles, we got ourselves a brand new ball game all tied here in the third as they have their first possession of this second half. And Brandon, this drive is all about one word to me, and that's the word answer, because they're trying to answer the momentum the other offense picked up in tying the game, because not only if they score and they feel better about themselves, they'll retake the lead and maybe set the tone for the rest of the half, keeping them in the driver's seat. That's to the sideline and incomplete. Well, as we all know, possessions are crucial in a tie game. And let's face it, I really didn't need to tell you that. You already knew it. So when he sees he's got nothing good going, an excellent decision to just send that one to the sideline. Third quarter, all tied up. This is second and 10. Now Mahomes. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Brown. That'll leave them with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. They'll come to the line, needing only two yards to gain the first here. The tight end in motion right. So they'll get a little extra time to come up with his third down play as we played three quarters. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. We're back now in KC. 
all square, 14 apiece to score as we get ready for the fourth quarter. From the gun on third down, Mahomes work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he will have a Chiefs first down as they're able to convert on third and short yardage with a gain of four. When the offense reads blitz, doesn't matter where it's coming from, tight ends know that they've become a big part of the passing game because they should be an easy outlet when all those extra bodies are trying to get to the quarterback. A hot route, so to speak. On first and ten, here's Pacheco. Oh, good move. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. That's good for 21 yards and a first down. They've kept him in check until that run. That's the first time he's really gotten loose in this game. And they have to keep that in mind. Don't dwell on the fact that he finally had a big run. You kind of are counting on that as the game went on. Get back to what you were doing before. Start limiting him again. So they'll come up in Bengals territory now with a first and 10 at the 36. On play action, it's Mahomes. Got a man, it's Brown. And he'll be brought down on the 30-yard line after a gain of six. He decided to run a hitch route. It really helped to have a guy who can turn it loose. And boy, he rifled one in there on that one. Not much run after catch, but it worked really well. And the ball on the 30, here's second and four. Now here's Mahomes. This will be caught once again by Brown. So the completion good for just three. And they'll be faced with a third and inches. The offense knew it. They were already starting to walk back as that one is accepted. Still third down. But just a gigantic play here. Both sides. This is third and inches. From the gun, it's Mahomes. He's got his target. That's complete. And he will have a Chiefs first down. They needed five there on third down. He winds up getting seven. Getting down to the good stuff. All tied with two minutes remaining on EA Sports. So the Chiefs in possession of the ball as we welcome you back. They've got a first down in field goal range already. They'll run out of the gun with Pacheco. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Well, that's just a pile of bodies there, and that's when you kind of find out who's a tough guy, right? Who can stand up and make a play? It was only a three-yard run, but for both sides, they had to walk away from that feeling like, okay, I can stand up when the going gets tough in here. Pacheco gets it again on second down. And he will take it on in for a Chiefs touchdown. Isaiah Pacheco. A 21-yard touchdown run. And the Chiefs answer back with a touchdown of their own to break our tie and take the lead here in the fourth. And that score deserves our respect, deserves our excitement. But I'm looking at the clock, and I'm thinking, there's a long way to go in this one. Ideally, they would have liked to milk a little bit more time off. Now on the other sideline, you start to get the crew together and say, this is what we practiced the two-minute drill for, right? Yeah, you hope you've been in that situation before, and if you haven't, you just have the confidence. Hey, let's go down there and get this thing done. But, boy, that's a big score right there to give them the advantage. Extra point by Butker is on target, and the lead is now 21-14. So that drive consumes nine plays, all told. And a pretty good run there in the end to top it off. After the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away.
And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. The Bengals offense and Joe Burrow getting set for this next drive. And we'll take you through some of the highlights here. You'll notice he had a hand in a lot of them so far. He's got this offense rolling right now. This is first and ten. Now Burrow. And that's into the hands of Gesicki. Now the Bengals going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. going to use the second of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 55 seconds remaining in the football game. Final minute, one timeout remaining. First and ten. Throwing, Burrow. And that one incomplete, but now a penalty flag coming in late. That might be P.I. So the defense helping him out a little bit here late in the fourth. Yeah, and you're exactly right. And when you're the one doing the chasing, you'll take a little help from the other guys, won't you? Here's first and ten. sabotage their comeback plans it is intercepted picked up by Nick Bolton and the Chiefs have just about sewn up this football game and that's a great example of ball skills right there partner you and I do a lot of games and I can't tell you how many guys look to run with the football before they've intercepted it so that's a nice job of focusing on the task at hand and coming away with the interception the Chiefs offense now making their way back onto the field and this one all over but the shouting, you might say. Now, there's one timeout remaining defensively, but probably no real need to use it here. Yeah, the only time they would use it, strictly for pride. Victory in the cards now for the Chiefs as they take a knee here. Now the Bengals going to signal for their third and final timeout as they get the stoppage with just under 50 seconds remaining in the fourth. And they'll indeed take a knee. down to a knee and that should just about write a finish to this one. Yeah. 
So this one in the win column for Kansas City. And they were spurred on by a strong performance in that fourth quarter as they held their opponents off the scoreboard. Everyone wants to pitch a shutout for the entire game, but when you throw one in the fourth quarter, that tells everyone that you're getting stronger and dominance is starting to take over, right? The way that you close, the way that you finish, that gets preached to you from the time you're playing Little League football all the way up through. And they closed them out with a big-time performance down the stretch. So that'll do it for my partner, Charles Davis, and the best darn crew in the industry. I'm Brandon Gaunt, and this has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. The Chiefs victorious here as we say so long from Arrowhead.